Now, the second approach is the consensus development panels or consensus development conferences. Now, this is probably the simplest of the consensus approaches, which generally involves bringing together a group of experts and allowing them to discuss and come up with a consensus around a problem. So there's no moderator, there's no formal structures in place. But that said, there is sometimes a voting process um, or other mechanism to try to uh, uh, come to an agreement on various issues that are being explored. Now, the consensus um, development process, again, can um, be subject to bias. Um, again, because of the need to make it manageable, it's normally around about 10 participants. And that allows time for everyone to have their say and also for sufficient depth to be explored around the topics. If you have too many people, say 100, then everyone just has too little opportunity to contribute um, to have an authentic voice. And if, again, if you have too few, then you suffer from a diversity of perspectives problem. Um, now, expert development consensus um, processes generally are a little bit more unstructured, um, but they can still produce some effective results, particularly if there's a general consensus. If there's two very strongly opinion perspectives, um, it can break down where an agreement may not necessarily be achieved um, through the consensus process. But where ideas can be argued and positions can be put forward and reasoned and explored, then the consensus development uh, method is still quite effective. And we'll discuss this in the tutorial.